Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, we've got the last wine I'm doing for tonight. This is uh, another one of those cheap wines. I um, Sorry. One of those wines that were sold for really low amount of money uh, over at Gabriel's. Uh, this is the MVSA de Valle Formosa. De, de, de Val Formosa, not Valle. Val Formosa. Um, this is the Reserva 2004. Uh, this is from Spain, from the Penedes, of, no, sorry, Penedes, no, Penedes, Penedes uh, area of Spain. It's kind of um, northeast area of, of Spain, uh, Catalan, whatever. So um, anyway, this, uh, this particular thing, and I actually have information about this. Is uh, 85. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, paid 3.99 at Gabriel's. This is the 2004 vintage, so seven plus years old. And uh, let's hope it's still holding up. Maybe that's why it's 3.99. Uh, again, regularly somewhere between 16 and 20 dollars. I don't remember the exact price that the ad said. I think it might have been like 18. So um, let's uh, do a little rinse here. Uh, it's 85% Tempranillo and 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, they were harvested from the Valfort and El Masset Estates in the uh, Box Penedes uh, area. Were macerated and fermented for 15 days in stainless steel tanks. Aging took place. I'm just going to read, finish reading it. I just hear a cat outside. Um, aging took place in new American oak casks for a minimum of six months and a further. Six months in two to three year old American oak casks, then finished in the bottle for at least 36 months prior to release. So, four years of aging. Might be why it's the 2004, because it's in their eyes, it's only a four year old wine. Well, it's well, okay, so it's recommended for the best recipes of meats in sauces, duck, and cured cheeses. All right, so let's check it out. All right, right off the bat, it smells kind of young. I mean, it's, it's like fresh, but um, I also get that kind of smoke bomb a little bit which typically is not what you want in a wine, but I'm not put off by it. Some red fruits, um, cherry, I would say, probably more than anything else. But I get that chemical, like that smoky chemical thing. Let's see how it tastes. So it's got um, it's got moderate to almost not high but moderate to medium high uh, tannins. Uh, it's definitely dry, um, but it feels somewhat smooth, uh, wet. I, I have a hard time explaining that one. Um, I don't want to say it tastes like water or feels like water, but it but it, it, fe it doesn't feel heavy, but yet it has a lot of a good amount of tannins. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's, it's coating my tongue, but it's, it's hitting the gums. Um, so it has that type of, of 
mouth feel to it. Um, it's like there's definitely some fruit to it. It's like I just finished eating um, um, well, in a way, almost like a um, I get the sensation I just finished eating like a peach, but it's not the peach flesh. It's like the uh, the skin part of it. Um, strange. And um, something else. But it feels like I just finished eating something. I'm still tasting it. Um, so it's definitely got a, kind of a long finish there. It's pretty decent. I kind of like this wine. Um, you're getting some of those red fruits, uh, cherry-like stuff, but there's it's really bugging me. There's a fruit here that I'm, I'm, I'm getting, but I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. But there's something to it. Um, pretty decent. Uh, it's got a decent finish to it. Uh, low acid. Not very acidic at all. But um, like I said, moderate to almost medium high tannins. The very first, very first swig, the, the tannins felt like they were a lot more... Uh, present. Now it's opening up. It's been in the glass for a few minutes. It's starting to soften slightly. I also can taste the wood, uh, but it's not overpowering. It's like a hint of the wood, but it's not like really killing it. And it's not, um, I'm not getting the characteristics of wood that, you know, the, the flavors that you would normally associate with American oak, I'm not really getting those, but it's chewy too. I feel like I'm biting into something. So even though I don't feel it's like a heavy wine on, on the tongue, I feel like I've, I'm chewing something on it uh, or chewing the wine. I like it. Um, I'd give it maybe an 87 on the um, uh, on the scale there, on the scoring scale. Um, and part of that might have been how I preconceived how these wines were going to be. I didn't necessarily I didn't necessarily go, I think this is going to be from worst to best, but it kind of scored that way with the six wines. But I really kind of went me through the whites and then the the Lambrusco, which is going to be a very, very light red. Uh, and then I tried to go by body, how I felt that the, how heavy the wines were going to be. Um, so decent wine, and let's put it this way: for four bucks, buy it. For four dollars, if you find this, if if your local wine shop is selling this stuff for four bucks, buy it. Um, I, I'd say it's a decent buy for ten to twelve, or maybe a little more dollars, sixteen to twenty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel like I was being robbed at sixteen to twenty dollars. So, um, of the bunch I did today, I think this was the best of it. Um, I could. This would be something I would be like, man. I kind of look forward to maybe drinking a couple more glasses of it and just kind of enjoying it. So, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this show. Um, we'll do another set of shows in a couple weeks and. Um, well, as far as you're concerned, it should be another day, it's a couple days, but I'll do another round of recording in a little bit, and um, hope you had a great time. Uh, again, go by the website, click the, click the links to friend me up, leave comments down below, and hit the donate button on PayPal over here on the left, or the right, I'm sorry, your right, my left. Um, and we'll see everyone again next time.